Hey guys, this is Nehmu Sheikh and from past few video tutorials I am working on a video tutorial series of RESTful web services uh, using GET method. Okay. In my last video, I completed the functionality of creating insert RESTful web service and in this video, I will be, uh, be discussing on update uh, RESTful update service using uh, RESTful update web services using GET method. Okay, here you can see I have already updated a record with the help of update uh, restful update web services here uh, by doing that i get a message saying that record updated successfully see here the age was 25 previously after updating it get the age gets turned into 26 and let me just change the name of the of the record I'll just make it as month okay see the record updated successfully and whenever I try to see this this record now, now summit gets changed to summon okay so this is uh, an update restful web service with the um, using get method okay if in uh, if anyone um, has done an application using an Android or an iOS technology they can consume this web services to implement the, this functionality into their application okay suppose anyone has created an Android application where they need to update the user details so in that case they don't need to create their own server related uh, file or the database file where they need to write the code to update the record so um, so it just they have to call this consume this URI instead of writing down the server side scripting they just need to call this or you just they just need to consume this web service and their work gets completed within few minutes okay so now let's just go to our editor and create an another file with the name of update api dot php okay here we need to call the file include include our config file that's our configuration file php this file we have created in our first video tutorial where i have explained uh, the functionality of selecting uh, uh, selecting the records using uh, web service restful web services in that tutorial i have explained this as please just refer to my first video or just refer to this complete video tutorial series uh, step by step uh, from the very beginning okay so uh, i will just call this file and now i'll be writing down the same code okay just copy this and paste it here and apart from this I should also use an ID here dollar get ID here we need to put the same condition copy this if and paste it here Instead of AND, we should use R operator here. Okay, and let's write down the query. SQL. Update users set name equals to dollar name comma is equals to dollar page comma gender equals to dollar gender comma mobile equals to dollar mobile where id equals to dollar id 
placed on the ID, I'll be updating the record. Successfully updated the record. Data is possible. Array. With a status of one. And with a message of. successfully else copy this and paste it here change it to update api dot php and let's go to our database web service and users here i'll be updating this rohit record and here age is 26 i will just change it to 25 and its id is 3 id equals to 3 and and name equals to project and this is 25 ok syntax error unexpected ok on line 10 ok if okay, this one is not closed ok now just refresh record upgraded successfully now let's come to our database table and you can see previously it was 25 now it you okay, now it gets updated to 25 and let's try it try it out again by changing the name and gender let's change the name as martha and gender as female and press enter to corroborate successfully and you can see here name is being changed to martha and gender is being changed to female okay so whenever uh, you have created an application an ios or whether it is an android application where you need to update a record um, in your android or ios application then instead of writing down the server side coding and maintaining a separate file creating or writing down a separate file for your server side scripting to interact with your database you just need to instead of that you just need to call this or you just need to consume this web service by calling this uri 
in the client side application and the, and your then your work will get done okay this is web service i have done it with the use of get method of http protocol um, we should not use we, it's actually not recommended to use a get method to update a record we should use a put method to update a record but just to show you um, in this way was just by returning uh, data in the form of json i just have used uh, get method to update a record okay i hope you like this video uh, i hope you got some information some useful information out of this video how to update a record with the help of get method in restful web services so if you like this video subscribe to my channel and please click on that like button that appears below the video and i'll see you in my next video where i'll be discussing the delete api using restful web services and using the get method and okay guys i'll see you in my next video